Good morning, believers. Good morning, Israel. It's your brother, J.D. Nijah, Word of Truth. Ah, Word of Truth, J.D. Nijah. Coffee with J.D. Nijah. Bible teachings from Bolsa Chica State Beach, Huntington Beach, California. Ah. All right. So we're going to have a little fun with uh, with Proverbs today. Before I get started, all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High, the Only Begotten Son, and the Holy Spirit, Yah, Yahweh, 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 um, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christos. Whatever language you speak, you call him the same I am, the God who manifests himself <clears throat> as a father, as our deliverer, and as the Rikah HaKwadash in the Paleo Hebrew, the Ruach in Hebrew and the Holy Spirit, um, gives the Israelites the, the 144,000 elect and some of the remnant, the power, wisdom, ability, and knowledge to break down the Bible for those who are interested. So, uh, of course, my um, one of my biggest goals on this channel is to bring um, the true understanding of what our creators love, our creators... <clears throat> um, plan is his goal what the what the book says about him what it says about us what it says about us with him what it says about us who aren't with him um, <clears throat> so today you know I was of course arguing with uh, GMS again because I my my job is to um, fight back against these these biblical whores, these harlots, these hoes, these nasty corner boys that are um, waiting to subtly deceive people and lead them into the ditch because my job is <clears throat> as a believer and as a servant of the Lord is to break down these Pharisees and these Sadducees and um, it, it is a fertile field. Um, fighting with these idiots and um, today we're going to go into um, what it means to be a be a harlot to be a to be a corner boy to be a hoe waiting on the corner so anyway um, we're going to go into a couple scriptures that talk about these corner boys being um, whores they're likened to harlots because they they wander off from the true teachings of the Bible to I, I'm not sure what their goal is but it's demonic and it's it's designed to um, destroy true believers so if you're if you're falling for a lot of their nonsense um, it's going to be a very hard road back to reality once you um, start believing some of this stuff they say because they're so subtle. So in Judges, in the book of Judges, chapter 2, verse 17, um, <laughs> oh, this is funny. The title of the, the section is Israel Fails to Listen. Israel Fails to Listen. So I've been... Um, I've been talking to these guys for a while now. I've been I've been telling them, you know, man, you know, man, you guys are you're going off, man. And I did it again yesterday because, um, by the way, it's a lot here for that last video. Uh, they, these guys were just got me wound up, and um, I had to lay it on them. So if that video last video was hurtful, I'm sorry. Um, 
I have a passion for this and it's going to come out sometimes. I'm not hiding myself. I'm not, I'm not hiding behind some um, persona or, or any filters or any cartoon um, thumbnails or anything like that, you know, man, right? <laughs> so um, back to Judges. It, it says, Israel incurs God's anger. And I'm going to read this first before I get to the main verse, just, just so we can get an idea. And in the, this is Judges 2.11. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord and served Balaam. And they forsook the Lord God of their fathers, which brought them out of the land of Egypt and followed other gods of the gods of the people that were around about them and bowed themselves unto them and provoked the Lord to anger. So that's where we see... Israel is a stiff-necked people, and they don't, and that's why um, you can believe that these Negroes, Native Americans, and, and Latinos are definitely Israel, because there's not a more stubborn bunch of people um, on the plane, on the, on the earth. So, uh, when it says they followed other gods, of the gods of the people, so what we see happening in this Hebrew Israelite and I'm going to try and be nice because they can believe what they believe. But the problem is, is you don't want them to drag you into the pit too. let them, let them go, let them brush them off your shoulders. Otherwise you're going to be, um, snared along with them. So when it says they, they followed other gods, that's what they do there. They have this, they have this Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rekakwadash. And I'm not saying that's not the, the name, but, um, they stand by that in a way that says, if you don't believe that's the name, then you're, you're going to burn in hell, which isn't true. The, the heavenly father said, I am. And Yahweh I, or Jesus Christ or Jesus Christos, the, the deliverer, when he was here on the earth teaching as God in human flesh, he said, I am the way, the truth and the light. I am. He's saying the same thing. It's not, it's not what he's called. You just have to know that he he is who he is. And they're trying to make who he is someone else by saying that he was born of Joseph's seed, of sperm, and he wasn't born of, of God himself. And that's that right there is blasphemy. So I'll just read on and we'll go into this a little bit more. And they forsook the Lord and served Baal and Ashtaroth. And the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel, and he de delivered them in the hands of of spoilers that spoiled them and he sold them into the hands of their enemies round about so that they could no longer stand before their enemies so what what does the lord do when you um turn your back on him um he lets these heathen nations these unbelievers who serve other gods you want to serve their gods then then go with them and they and the next thing you know they are under the control of these idiots and that's that's what's going to happen to um, believers that follow this black Hebrew Israelite um, subtle satanic script that these guys are, are laying out. Um, verse 15, wheresoever they went, the hand of the Lord was against them for evil. And the Lord said, and as the Lord had sworn unto them, and they were greatly distressed. So what's what are we going to see in Jacob's trouble? We know Jacob's trouble is <coughs> um, the day of the Lord when, when he comes back. And so why, why is the Lord so mad at Jacob? Because Jacob is a stiff-necked, whoremongering, um, warmongering, rebellious child that won't listen. So here we are. Israel fails to listen. Um, nevertheless, the Lord raised up judges, which delivered them out of the hand of those that spoiled them. So there's these judges, these these. Uh, men of the Lord, women of the Lord. There's not a bunch of them, and that's what GMS doesn't get. It's like there's only one judge at a time. There's not, there's not a whole camp of judges on the corner. So that's another issue that you might want to look at if you're um, thinking about joining um, one of these, one of these Negro uh, Hebrew Israelite camps. Is that? Um, the only people that grouped together were the Pharisees and Sadducees, so that's who these guys are. Nevertheless, the Lord raised up judges, verse 16 of Judges 2, which delivered them out of the hand, and yet they would not 
hearken unto their judges. So what I'm doing is I'm judging these guys and I'm trying to um, pull them out of their, their retardedness so that they stop pushing this um, wicked agenda that they have that um, it's only Israel that's going to be saved and you got to call in the name of Yahweh Hashem and you got to stop eating pork and you got to stop eating shrimp and you got to stop blah 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 you don't got to stop doing anything except lying and that's what they're doing they're a bunch of liars and yet they would not hearken unto their judges but they went a whoring after other gods and bowed themselves unto them they turned quickly out of the way which their fathers walked in obeying the commandments of the Lord but they did not so so what's it say they went a whoring they're whores. They're, they're street corner hoes. They're out. They're out pushing another god. So there's, there's one example of, um, the the Bible speaking of people that go after other gods, um, being likened to a whore. Let me see what else I got here. Hosea. Let's go to Hosea. If you're following along, Hosea can open to chapter 4, verse um, verse 12. I'll start in 12, and we'll. This will probably be a two parter because I want to make this clear what, what what what's going on with these black Hebrew Israelites, and you know, I'm I'm trying to be as calm and collected as I can be because I don't want to say things that make people go, he's just an angry white dude. He just, he's racist. He's this, he's that. No, I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about the difference between colors of people. I'm talking about the difference between a true believer and someone who's faking the funk. So, um, I'm going to try and be more diplomatic like vocab Malone and, and, and just use scripture but know that um, there's a passion in me and I have to have that passion or or things won't get done it's like you got to have a motivation and my motivation has driven me to the part point where I I really dislike their whole um, their whole role is is ridiculous and and, I, and I'm gonna stand against it as best I can without making myself look like an idiot like them because I'm coming down to their level sometimes I don't like it it says um, Israel's spirit of whoredoms so here again it's talking about Israel as a fucking harlot whore, slut um, wicked following after other gods and it reads my people ask counsel at their stocks and their staff Declareth unto them, for the spirit of whoredoms has caused them to err, and they have gone a whoring from under their God. So when you read the book of Hosea, it's it's about um, Hosea taking a, a harlot onto wife and this and that. But the bigger story is that's not the that's not the theme. The theme is that Israel doesn't recognize their own daddy, and GMS is making Tahar and Gabar and Aram Lob and these guys their daddy knowing very little of what that's going to do to their soul. So, horn guy. So there again it's talking about the whoredoms and that's not the only, it says it a couple times here in this um Hosea 4, chapter 4. They sacrificed upon the tops of mountains and burnt incense upon the hills under oaks and poplars, elms, and elms because the shadow thereof is good. Therefore, your daughters shall commit whoredom and your spouses shall, shall commit adultery. So what are they doing? They're going out on the streets and they're getting under the shade trees. You see them, they're, they're in the shade of a building or they're in, the, they're in the shade of a tree out on the streets, <coughs> out on the corner. Um, or under some kind of canopy or tarp or something, and they're talking shit about God. They're 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 bring, they're turning God into their own personal little um, puppet show, and they're out there with these garments on. If you if you pull up the videos, you'll see them. 
GMS and Sakari and these guys, they have these um, Power Rangers outfits on and they act like they're superheroes or something. But we'll, um, Proverbs is going to go into that too, how, they, how they're going to look, these whores, these, these corner boys. Um, verse 14, I will not punish your daughters when they commit whoredom, nor your spouses when they commit adultery for themselves are separated with whores and they sacrifice with harlots. Therefore, the people that doeth not understand shall fail. So we know in the end, um, the Lord's going to come back and whoop these guys. It, it just said it. It says it all through the, through the Bible. You wicked scribes and Pharisees. Um, yeah, you'll know, you'll see me in the last day and you'll know that I am the Lord. They're going to, they're going <laughs> to, they're going to, they're going to shit their little Power Ranger outfits when they see, um, Yeshua bust those clouds and come down here with a fucking anger and a wrath at their Israelite, um, pff, fake Israelite brain stems that that's going to be brutal. Um, Though thou Israel play the harlot, yet ye not judge, let, yet let not Judah offend, and come not unto Gigal, neither go up to Beth Aven, nor swear the Lord liveth. For Israel slideth back as a backsliding heifer. Now the Lord will feed them with a lamb in a large place. Ephraim is joined to idols, let him alone. Their drink is sour, they have committed whoredom continually. Her rulers have sh with shame do love, give ye. Her rulers with shame do love, give ye. The wind has bound her up her wings, and she shall be ashamed because of their sacrifices. And then it goes into the rebuke of Israel and Judah. I'm not going to go into that. That's mostly against the northern kingdom, but um, Hosea also prophesied against the southern kingdom. So that being said, let's go to another. You get the idea, right? This isn't. This isn't. Um, Anything that um, GMS shouldn't know. They should. They they know they're the whores, but do they ever talk about it? No. They always talk about women. They 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 bring up these um these scriptures, these particular scriptures that I'm bringing up to talk about women when it's it's not even about women. It's about <laughs> it's about their dumb asses. <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna go to um, numbers as soon as I can find it. Man, Numbers is... Where is Numbers? It's at the beginning of the Bible. I can't even... I know it's right here somewhere. Judges, Joshua, Deuteronomy, Numbers. Here we go. 15, if you're following along, 1539. And it reads... Let's see what we got. 15... Fringe... <laughs> Fringe on the garments as a reminder. This is where these guys actually go all the way back. They go all the way back to Moses and to this old covenant. And they put on these fringes as a reminder. As a reminder of what? Let's let's see what it says. Um, fringe on the garments as a reminder. And the Lord spoke to Moses saying, so I was just, it's funny, I was just talking about the garments, right? Um, right, J. Hall? Buddy, buddy, thanks for being here. If you're, if this is your first time listening, I'm here every morning teaching the Bible and chatting down Babylon, but at the same time, um, we know this place is falling. Babylon is falling. Zion is rising. But we also know that um, there's in the last days there'll be false prophets, false teachers, and many who say that they are the Messiah or, or have the word of the Messiah that do not. So we have to be very careful. And what I do is... Um, point you away from some of these this wickedness um you know the, the obvious ones creep creep show dollar td snakes um joel olsterstein and um that other joker woman i forget her name because she triggers me the one with the smiley face that makes millions of dollars off people by um, twisting the words of the Lord. But anyway, speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make their fringes on the borders of their garments throughout their generations and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue 
and that shall be unto you for a fringe, that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them, and that ye seek not after your own heart and your own eyes, after which ye use to go a whoring. Oh boy, so they're so they're wearing the fringes that are supposed to remind them to remember all the commandments and do them, and that you seek not after your own heart and your own eyes. So what are these guys doing? They're, they they aren't seeking um, salvation for anyone except themselves. And that's what it's saying right there. It's saying, um, you go a-whoring and you, you talk this crap. Let's see what it says about a-whoring. 39, 15, 39 says, into harlotry, right? Harlotry. That you may remember and do all my commandments and be holy unto your God. I am, I, there's the I am again. I am the Lord, your God, which brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. I am the Lord. I am. He says it twice. I am. I am. So who, who's Yehoshai? He's the I am in human form, in, in, in a bodily form who came to shed the blood to be the sacrifice. He's not the son of Joseph. He's the son of the Most High. He's the son of the I am. He is the I am. That's where their doctrine can't, doesn't even make any sense. Why would you have just another man be your savior? Because these guys have their eyes for themselves and their heart is thinking only of themselves. Oh, Israel's the only chosen people. The Negroes, the Native Americans, and the um, whatever, however they say it. I, I'm getting tired of listening to it because, yeah, we know, you wicked Israelites that um, go whoring after Catholicism, that go whoring after Buddhism, that go whoring after Kemet, that go whoring after whatever whack religions that you're doing. Now now you have black Hebrew Israelism. It's a offshoot of um, mor moronism. <laughs> or idiocyism. It's just, it, it doesn't make any sense. And it's only for people that their brains haven't fully developed and in the Americas there's a lot of that that happened because our school system didn't teach you to think it taught you to um, follow people that are saying things that um, that you didn't know and just because you didn't know it doesn't mean it was true so that being said um, I think I'll get I have one more when I did judges I did Leviticus I don't think I did Leviticus Let's do one more. Let's talk about this harlotry. So, so he says, put on your fringes, but that's to remind you that I'm your God and you guys better be careful what you say because um, no, no idle word is going to go, is going to just disappear. It's, let's see, Leviticus uh, 17. Ah, lock you. Uh, let me see how much time I got. Mm, 23. And then I'll... I'll close out and we'll come back and I'll go into um, the scripture that I sent these these corner boys yesterday. Uh, when they were... They were they, they try and put me down and um, I forgot what they said, but I had to bring out Proverbs. That, and it was funny, the Lord opened, opened me right to it last night and uh, I shot it back to him and I, I haven't heard back from him after that because I probably cut him deep um, Leviticus 17 and 7 if you're following along so we're talking about um, Israel as the whore as the harlot as a street corner slut um, that goes whoring after other gods and after other um, peoples and nations Oh, so lock it. Um, 17 7 Leviticus, if you're following along. Uh, 17 7 reads. <clears throat> um, and they shall no more offer their sacrifices unto devils after whom they have gone a whoring. So when you're when you're saying, um Yahushai Bahathem Barakatham and these people that are um, following these guys like robots, good, 
good lesson, Elder, good lesson, Apostle. All praises, all honor to, to you for being such a wonderful teacher, blah, blah, blah. These are people that are getting snared by the sweet um, verbiage of these, these whores. Their, their, their sweet, soft words are enticing them into this black Hebrew Israelism because they they speak real deep and they right you, you know that right okay they everything they everything they say is always okay all right so that you're you get trapped by their verbiage okay and they and they snare you with their with their sweet words right and their and their lies become truth okay see what I'm saying um, who have gone a whoring they shall this shall be a statute forever unto them, unto their generations. And you shall say unto them, Whatsoever man there be of the house of Israel, the strangers which sojourn among you, that offereth a burnt offering or sacrifice, and bring it not into the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, to offer it to the Lord, even that man shall be cut off from among his people. Um, and then this is where they, they go off to. There's no, there's no strangers. There's no, there's no heathens. There's no... Gentiles in the kingdom and, and this is where it's Smacks them right upside the head again and whatsoever man there be in the house of Israel or of the strangers that sojourn among you That eateth any manner of blood I will even set my face against that soul that eateth blood and I will cut him off from among his people for the life of flesh is in the blood and that's that's where the I am, the, the Yahushai, Jesus Christ comes back as a human, but full of God to shed the, the blood, to make us realize this body, this blood, this bloody meat bag that we live in, this chain, these chains of darkness is not our rest. This is, this is punishment. We're sick, we're tired, or we ache. Everything we do has to be a struggle. We drop things. We don't think straight. Um, it's just, when you look at the body itself, it, it's, it's almost hilarious the way God made it. You look at human feet, like from the knee down. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> it's, a mo it's monstrous. But anyway, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close this out. We're talking about the harlotry of GMS in the... Um, and their wicked whoredoms that they that they do by by bringing forth these false doctrines to push their Negro agenda. So I'll be right back and we'll finish up. We'll go to um, we'll go to the Proverbs and we'll look at that because it, it says it um, in a straight up way that Bopsy's pricks over the head. So. JD Niger, Word of Truth, thanks for being here. Um, check out the next message. It's the same idea, but it, it's the beauty of Proverbs um, and the, the way the literature comes forth is, is amazing. So we'll, we'll get into that. I'll be right back.